Vera, how did you find Carnivore? It was about two years ago from Jordan Peterson. And actually, I thought that idea was totally, totally nuts. Uh, I, I watched Jordan for some time uh, um, at, at that moment. And when I heard like, oh, he's having that crazy that uh, his, his authority kind of kind of dropped in my eyes. I thought, oh, Jordan, OK, I will, I will keep listening to you. But your, your diet is totally, totally insane. So I forgot about that for about half a year. And only then I found his interview with Joe Rogan when he explained it in kind of details. And he was like kind of telling, oh, fat is the answer. And he was like telling, oh, four, four tastes of water is all I have. Like it's all the, the diversity I have. Uh, so I thought, yes, this diet, well, it, it helps him, but it, it's totally, it's totally uh, unbearable, I, I thought. And only then I found Michaela's story and uh, she was explaining like how she found it and how it helped her and like how she eliminated everything uh, till, till salads and uh, only then she was cured. And then I uh, kind of found maybe a few more stories uh, of people who had treated like insane autoimmune issues and i thought yeah it, it kind of works it, it works but i don't have those i don't have autoimmune issues so i don't need it maybe and so the real question is how i decided to start carnivore actually uh, so uh, i've tried keto before uh, when i was about 18 for weight loss so i knew about keto and it was kind of always around like uh, the keto space and like uh, it's cool it's cool and so i uh, but it was like pretty dirty keto so i didn't sign at, at all i was just like what can i eat salads and cheese so i was just like eating salads and cheese and i lost some weight i, I was full i wasn't like struggling but then it was like orthodox easter so i returned to my mother's home and she would make those big big like uh Easter muffins, like cakes, whatever. So I would try one piece and, you know, like bread, bread cravings, those were crazy. So I would just like eat four, four of those huge, huge things. So I decided, oh, okay, keto, keto works, but you know, like you need carbs after all, like you, you crave them so much after all. So uh, afterwards, so I decided, yeah, maybe keto, like I had this idea, like you need all the foods, like is everything is in moderation. All, all the foods is good. Uh, so I kind of forgot about keto for about two years. So I was 18, then 19, 20, 21. And so uh, I'm 22. So uh, just now I decided like we were traveling a lot with my boyfriend. So I wasn't uh, ever consistent with my foods. Like I never like studied it a lot. Um, and so I decided maybe like now we settled in, in, in Russia. And so I decided, yeah, it's time to kind of look into my health and like study uh, like uh, nutrition and so on. And so I started uh, again with keto. Um, and I just kind of Googled on YouTube like uh, keto for skin health. And uh, the first video that actually came was uh, Dr. Berg. So I looked uh, his video about acne and uh, I kind of said, oh yeah, it works. Okay, I'll try it. And then I'll, out, of, out of, no of nowhere, I would start getting those carnivore videos. So I decided, I, I know this thing, I know it. And they would report like insane uh, results uh, for their skin as well. So I decided, yeah, okay, I'll try it now. Um, and so maybe like the first week I, I would leave some carrots and olives or strawberries. And since week two, I would go completely meat, meat only. And meat like fish, sometimes eggs, uh, organ meats. So it's been for, uh, for I'd say three months meat, meat only and for two months uh, with, no uh, with no dairy. Uh, and one month beef strict, strict beef and maybe sometimes chicken. And how is your skin in comparison? Uh, maybe not so great. Like uh, I would, I would expect like uh, instant results. Of of course, my my skin would get better in two weeks uh, for about I'd say forty percent, and then it would get worse before my, my my period, and like and then it would get better again. So I think it's my hormones. After all, it's not not the sugar. It's my hormones hormones that uh, impact it the most. Uh, so I would like uh, s uh, 
I've not studied it uh, all in, in depth yet. I, I would find like Elizabeth Bright and uh, my um, Staken Butter Gal and like uh, how they treat their, their skin and like their their uh, their advices for this uh, stuff. So, uh, but I have not implemented uh, like much of it except for iodine. I only take iodine now, and like I just wait patiently for for it to to, to become better. Um, I still get like new, um, much, much less. Uh, maybe I have some pigmentation left. Pigmentation, and uh, but my skin is like super smooth. And on my back, my, the worst is my back, actually. Maybe I will send you some pictures like so you ca could see what, what actually I'm, I'm dealing with. Like my, 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 my face is okay, but my back is actually uh, what's wrong. Um, so I still get some, some new, but I think... Um, it doesn't hurt anymore. So, and my my thighs, uh, I actually have it like really bad on my thighs, and these are um, better too. But it's not it's not so. It's been three months, and it's not it's not healed yet. So, um, and have you noticed any other changes in the of in course the of three course. months? <laughs> yeah, what, sure. what what have those been? <laughs> um after three days and remember i still had some vegetables still like maybe some dairy after three days no idle thoughts uh, no depression no uh, less far less anxiety and i would have those things for for like i don't know five ten years like since i was 13 uh, and i i thought it was it was, it was normal yeah of course of course so after three days gone and never came back so I, I would stick to this diet, like, uh, no matter what, like, no, no matter, like, uh, like issues with my di di digestion in the first, like, you know, month, uh, like, so, so certain struggles, but I would stick to, like, to the, it's like, a, like, you, you found, like, your, your magic pill and you, of course you want to take it forever. Uh, so like it goes like to 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 the minus uh, m minor things like you know like when you cross the road you're like afraid of cars like uh, the car is gonna hit you no I don't I don't I don't uh, feel that anymore and like when you go to a higher place like a bridge you like you like to like you like to, uh, take your headphones with your with your hands uh, because you you're afraid they will fall or like when you go to to some subway and you're like closer to to the train you're afraid of the train. It, so so much fewer of those things instant maybe like in in three weeks it got really 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 better in three weeks so and maybe maybe i'm still uh and you know like um uh i still kind of get uh i can get sad now but uh it's not like it's not like uh, the feeling of hopelessness like like i had before so it's not not nothing like it's not like i am i'm in the corner and it, it, actually like i think my my like depressive thoughts and like really bad thoughts they kind of got a substitute with anger so now i'm like if i feel like something is bad i just feel anger so like maybe that's like an issue an issue too but it's much much better yeah <laughs> um i have heard from some other carnivores and it happened to me that at the start like you can get more angry more easily or have a a, a mood change more easily like yes. that so that might just be a normal progression I, um, I saw your video when, when you talked about like you would have like this random like uh, outbursts of anger out of nowhere. I ha I had those too for maybe like three weeks. So I was just like walking the street and like uh, having like no normal day, like would just mind my stuff, and I would see like that just like like a stick, a branch, and I would oh I just hate this. I just like I cannot stand it. Or I would just go to the supermarket and. <laughs> And like some 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 uh, package would just be out of its place, and I would just ha I would just hate this. Like uh, it's so. And my my boyfriend has probably suffered uh, suffered a lot from it because for the first three weeks, and uh, actually uh, for some time, maybe like two or three months into it, when I started this beef and uh, ghee butter only challenge. So, so, and ghee butter is not a tasty thing because like I eliminate, eliminated all the dairy. So it was like the only fat I got. So I was like pretty low on fat and uh, that made me angry too. So yeah, so I kind of figured it out and now I, I don't get it anymore. Um, and so, Right now, how are you eating 
um you said beef only but like is that just one meal a day <laughs> two meals a day it's mostly two meals a day. I, I maybe uh, like sometimes I get like a bit hungry on one day, so on the next day I eat like a lot on one meal, and so I I leave it just one meal. It's beef. Uh, I uh, like different parts of beef. Uh, liver, beef liver. I have it like a uh, hundred grams, maybe three or four times a week. So it's good for my skin. And uh, like if I if I have it like uh, three four days in a row, then I maybe like uh, kind of make me maybe make make me makes me nauseous. But nauseous. But when I sp skip a few days, I'm super hungry for it. So beef. I don't uh, I don't have um, many eggs because like I'm kind of suspicious of those like many people report like they have some side effects or from from eggs so i have only yolks and maybe like 10 we 10 eggs per week so not much and i have butter uh like uh, like less okay it's less than a stick of butter per day but lots of butter and um what else? And sometimes uh, chicken breasts because those are just at home. Like my boyfriend has them all the time. Uh, he's super low on fat, so he doesn't have any of like those things I, I'm having now. So I would just uh, have like uh, some chicken or or turkey. And and I don't know, not much, not much, not not much ales. I may like taste something, like taste something sweet, like with my tongue, but I'm not eating it. <laughs> So um, how does it work out at home with your boyfriend? Because I guess, like, he's not eating this way. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he, yes, he's actually kind of, like, he's having issues with his pancreas and maybe he's, like, bile bladder for, like, for ages, like, since he was a child. So his whole life he's been eating, like, uh, potatoes, pasta, rice, maybe some other cereals, uh, chicken breasts and... Uh, and cereal for 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 breakfast so he doesn't have like and maybe like he has like on occasionally like we would go to some cafe and he would have like kebab or some other like uh, uh pilaf some 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 dishes they they offer there uh, but it's not it's like so he's really like he's really conservative about his diet and he's like he's some he's stealing some cheese or butter from me so he he, he can handle it but like uh uh, he's really like I cannot try talk, and he he's having lots lots and lots of sugar. So, and I'm preparing this tea with like these two teaspoons full of sugar for him, and like I'm killing you, I'm killing you, but like, <laughs> but he won't stop it yet. So I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of learning a lot about like you know like uh, nutrition now. So I'm like reading some, some books, maybe some articles. So I kind of try talking like, and, and we have like this crazy argument about like you know like Krebs cycle like he, he didn't believe at first that uh, uh, oxygen connects to hydrogen and that's how we breathe out um, like the CO2 is not actually like we don't connect the CO2. The CO2 is like the remaining of, of the food. Actually, the oxygen we breathe is needed for hydrogen. So he didn't believe, believe it at, at, at all at first. Like, And so maybe like one day I will talk him into into some of this. Like, But maybe he won't handle like uh, full keto carnivore, uh, keto war, because maybe his pancreas is really like weak, actually. But he doesn't so, stand in my way, yeah. So like I just explained, yeah, it's just for my skin, and it helps, kind of like you know. But he kind of mocks me a bit, like I'm I'm eating like a like a wild human, like the, like, like some northern tribes, uh, he, and uh, actually my whole life we would have like this argument that he would be really good when he's like uh, in warmer temperature, and I can handle cold uh, like really really well. So he kind of mocks me like like I'm a, I'm a forest. Forest citizen. <laughs> so, do you just prepare your meals separately? Uh, yes, like he he doesn't require much, like like one mm, one big portion of potatoes, and he would like go on that for like three days and just some. So it's really easy. Yeah. So and for me, I just uh, like fry some meat every day, and it's not not hard at all. It's really really really. Uh, time not not time consuming 
Yeah, uh, certainly for carnivore, that's one of the best things about it. Is <laughs> you save so yeah. much time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually cannot cook at all. I like I, I don't know how to prepare any meals, and I, I haven't watched any like um, s steaks re recipe on YouTube. Like I just I just do it intuitively. Just put it on on the pan and just fry it for like a few minutes. And yes, <laughs> my cooking is horrible. <laughs> yeah, but that sounds a bit like mine as well. I've just got a fry <laughs> pan, and everything goes in the. Fr if it doesn't go in a fry pan, then I'm not having it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how how about everyone else about around you? Like how about your family or friends? What do they think of this? Uh there's only two of us uh, living in the city now, so not my many like uh, uh uh relatives and like friends around, but um, Back actually last week we went like on a little trip to another city, so there were friends around, and I would just I would prepare like something like pemmican uh, that didn't go well because I couldn't dry the meat like properly, so it was more like like a porridge porridge of meat and fat, and uh, but it was it was <laughs> it was well preserved it it would preserve well, so it wasn't like it didn't go go bad or something. So I would eat only that for three days, and I would so people would kind of look at me, but. I was oh, yeah, like you know, like I can I can be full for 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 a whole day with only like this little um, portion of food, and you guys, you like like having those uh, uh, like uh, uh, energy drinks like every half an hour, or so like uh, so no no uh, no arguments about that, and no, and I I'm not really like talking anyone into like not 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 really like i'm i'm kind of keeping keeping it to myself so i'm i don't explain stuff to people like the, the humanity is not ready for this for for this yet here at least <laughs> like in in russia nobody nobody has heard of it actually there is like like only one doctor uh, one russian doctor who kind of promotes it and he's a gastroenterologist like and he has like a hundred thousand uh, sub subscribers so like and mm, maybe some people there are uh, low carb or someone like is just keto war but not many like carnivores even among those people mm, so so um, interestingly, I did an interview recently with a lady from St. Petersburg mm. and um, at her hospital, um, her, her wife had got cancer and at the hospital, the doctors recommended she go on an all meat diet. Mm. Wow. And I, that was so surprising for me. I just, because in Japan, in Australia, of course, in America, I can't imagine a group of doctors all sitting around having a meeting and saying, we need to tell her to eat meat. <laughs> wow. So I thought wow. that was great. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. And uh, like, I would I would hear the opposite story like uh, some 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 woman that kind of got into this low car low carb world low like zero carb world she would uh, treat her mother in law with like this low uh, diabetes with uh, this low carb and she would like she would improve her health and so on and then she would take her to the doctors and it would it would it will be called the uh, Institute of Diabetes uh, somewhere in Moscow. I, I think, and uh, there, and she would she would uh, like uh, like uh, stay stay uh, stationary like uh, for for a few, for a few weeks, and uh, like mother-in-law would not trust the, the, that woman anymore because uh, in the Institute of Diabetes they would have bread and sweets and like porridge every day. So and so she was like in her heaven, like she would have all those tasty things every day, and she wouldn't be like uh, tortured by that woman with that low low carb and her 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 and all her blood work of course went worse instantly as soon as she got into that institution yeah it sounds um sounds very similar to the diabetes associations in australia or america or the uk you know, it's not the Institute for Diabetes. It should be the Institute for Maintaining Your Diabetes yes. or something yes. like that, you know. Um, so for you, this is only three months in, but do you feel this is a lifestyle for good for you? Uh I, I'm definitely not uh, returning to high-carb diet. Maybe I will incorporate some, maybe 
carrots. Like I really like carrots. So like, <laughs> and maybe just like, on occasion, like some salads. Maybe maybe some 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 somewhere later. So but maybe keto or maybe some ber some berries because I don't have those uh, like horrible autoimmune like uh, feedback from many many foods, but. Definitely, meat. Meat is will, will be will stay the base of my diet forever. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it, it's really good that you found out about this at the age of twenty-two. Yes. Know? Um, yes. Mo most of us are finding out about it a little bit later than that. So it's you know, yes. although it, it although it helps us, you know, you can't help but look back and think, I wish I'd found this earlier. Yes, and actually going uh, like fighting a better diet was like uh, like in the back of my head. Like the second uh, motivation besides my skin was actually like uh, getting a bit healthier because like my period would never be regular and so on. Like nothing, nothing really like horrible. I would I wouldn't pay much attention to it, but it wasn't good, and it's still not regular. Of course, like it wouldn't like like. Uh, uh, cure itself so so quickly but yes like staying healthy and i've lost some weight actually so i don't know uh that's that's good too maybe i've been kind of heavy heavier than other girls like always because like i would eat like this the cheapest food i could foods i could find like my 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 diet for a long time actually was like this little challenge when i would buy but i would look for foods like under two dollars under two dollars and i would buy like per kilo so it would uh, the only meat that could uh, fit into that diet would be just like you know chicken chicken mm, chicken tails i would say so it's just like the, the lower the lower side of the chicken so it would be my only meal and uh, the rest would be just some um, vegetables and cereals and uh, and waffles I, I i loved waffles for a long time so i would just uh, like fill my calories with with this with this food for maybe like two years and when i were then i actually went to work in poland and in poland i would uh, only have four four uh four foods for maybe half a year those would be bread sausages um cornflakes and uh sour cream so that was my food mostly mostly for half a year and maybe some oranges on occasion or maybe some carrots maybe some chicken sometimes so my food my, my my nutrition was really bad really bad for a long time and i would treat my skin actually i when i was 18 and i got my first salary the first thing i did was like go to see a dermatologist and like of course like she she gave me some um retinoids uh and that helped that helped a lot but uh i kind of um i i stopped having them and it would kind of gradually like return all of it so you know again like treating symptoms not 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 the not not the reason so but now that you're eating uh, a nutrient rich diet of meat yeah. you are seeing slight improvements yeah yes yes mm. Not slight, maybe like fifty percent in in, oh, in wow. three months. So, and my 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 face is completely clean. Just so just some pigmentation post acne, and my back is like fifty percent better. So yeah, not slight, I guess. And maybe it will become better like soon. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, nice. Um, so based on your very very fresh experience of the last three months. If a friend was asking you, how do I get started? Or if your boyfriend decided, okay, I want to, <laughs> I want to go carnival. What advice would you give them to get started? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my, my kind of transition wasn't smooth at all. So I would have like digest di digestion issues. So maybe it would scare people. Scare people are like, I'm having like this uh, wonderful life and where I don't work, so I can just stay in, in my apartment and like do whatever I want whenever I want. But maybe people, if people are working like or just having a social life, maybe it's not not that comfortable for them. And actually, when people are working, it can be like difficult if they're like on this carb high carb diet when like they believe like uh, sugar helps them th think and like like they needed 
to concentrate and like uh, like to have some energy for their brain so maybe it will be hard for them to keep their work and like uh, like transition but maybe just wait for three days and if in three days you start you you stop having like these really horrible thoughts you have all the time actually uh, and it's really common for many people like uh, so maybe uh, you should like tr uh, trust like and maybe s put some effort in it and like uh, discover it yourself so uh, try some foods like il eliminate some food eliminate the dairy because dairy is like the main factor of like going straight to the toilet after your meal so that, that's that's for sure uh, <laughs> and maybe like uh, start with uh, less uh, like less cereals less pasta and just substitute like uh, your your meal should be only meat meat and maybe some salad like if you want it only meat with no cereal at all uh, because like you, you uh, if you believe it, you can you can digest it see see it in three days in three days you, you will be accommodated to to meat only um so vera do you have any way for people to reach out for you do you have any kind of social media um, I use Telegram mostly. Maybe if people use Telegram, uh, my uh, account is uh, text Sargon. Otherwise, like I will just re reply in YouTube co comments. Yes. Cool. And well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing yes. your story with us, Vera. Yes. I really appreciate it. Sure. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs>